So John Gray. <laughs> Let me just say something. We, let's, let's go ahead and put this out here. Ain't none of us perfect, okay? We all done did some trifling ass shit before in our life. John Gray ain't the first motherfucker to cheat. He ain't gonna be the last, okay? Some of our big papas, some of our grandpapas cheated on our big mamas. Yes, we know it. Some of our grandpapas got three and four kids outside of, outside of the marriage. We, on, we, ain't gonna, we ain't even gonna find out half of the kids he got until the day he died. Y'all know when motherfuckers end up dying, that's when, all of, that's when all his kids on the other side of town wanna come to the funeral. So John Gray ain't the first person to cheat. He ain't gonna be the last. <laughs> Girl, now I see why you bought your wife that $200,000 car. <laughs> Let me say something, girl. John Gray's wife. You are too motherfucking old to try and put the fact that your husband decided he made a choice. He made a choice that his family was his family was not that important to him and that he would take a chance on destroying the black family. You know, a lot of y'all always try to put it on the fact you know the black family is destroyed because of the homosexuals. No, 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 sweetie. The black family is destroyed because of niggas like John Gray. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got nothing to do with the fact that you're a single mama. Your baby daddy has all the reasons to do with why you're a single mama. Don't put that on the gays, baby. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but it's just funny to me how all y'all who praise and worship these pastors, these motherfuckers be the most trifling motherfuckers walking on the motherfucking streets. <sighs> Girl, it's not the devil's fault that your husband decided to go stick his penis inside of someone else's vagina. That's not the devil. <laughs> Here he go. Here he go. Here he go, girl. Um, you know, she, <laughs> what did he say? She found out that she basically, basically she she basically she cut up like a wife should do. What, girl? You gonna let that man drive you into an early grave? First it was, first it was oh my wife has birth. Yeah, basically your big ass birth. His, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said your big ass. Your ass birthed his big ass. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> girl, I'm sorry. This this shit is hilarious to me. Girl, we are too grown to be trying to blame the devil on the fact that your that, that that your husband is trifling as fuck. Your husband trifling as fuck because he trifling as fuck. Now, like I said, girl, we all been trifling. We done all did some shit. I ain't never been married before, and I ain't never cheated on my wife. Well, of course, I ain't. I wouldn't be married to no woman, but I ain't never cheated on my husband before. Okay, I don't have kids. I'm not talking about, you know, some I got with somebody and they was in my lid on my cover. The fuck? Baby, that man ain't no good, girl. John Gray ain't no good. John Gray is a little boy, okay? And he ain't even a little boy. He's just a trifling ass, grown ass nigga. That's all. I don't get it. Y'all want to stand up in front of the congregation and, girl, I'm not going to let the devil win. You ain't going to let the devil win, girl. My whole thing is this. If you want to, if you're going to be honest, if you're going to stand in front of a church, if you're going to stand up in front of people who follow you, and some of these people even worship you, just be fucking honest. Just say, my husband fucked up. He cheated on me. He put our family on the line. I love this sorry ass nigga. And I'm going to try to work it out the best way we can. At that point, everybody gonna be like, well, shit. Well, girl, go ahead. But for you to try to get up in front of the church and try to blame the fact that your husband sucked his penis inside of another woman's vagina on the devil? <laughs> no, your husband cheated on you. You love your husband. 
Y'all have kids together. Y'all been together a long time. I get it. Just say that. We're going to try to work through it. And if we don't, then we'll probably end up getting a divorce. But right now, we're going to try to work through it. I ain't got shit. He got all the money. Because <laughs> that's really true, T, bitch. You know what? Y'all go ahead. Y'all worship these people. I mean, it is what it is, child. Like I said, ain't John Green the first person to cheat. We all realize why now he bought that $200,000 car. <laughs> Um, ain't you know so crazy. If I was with a nigga, don't buy me no $200,000 car. What the fuck am I going to do with this? You know what I'm saying? Like, go, go put, like, you, like, go buy me, I mean, go try to, like, make me some money on the side. You know what I'm saying? Like, go put my name on some stocks or go buy me a house in my name. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the, I don't want no motherfucking $200,000 car. If you, can buy, if you can afford a $200,000 car, bitch, you can afford a million dollar house. That's how I look at it, okay? Bitch, go buy me a house with my name on it. So when I get ready to leave your motherfucking ass, I got somewhere to go. Like, go, you know when Kanye had built, um, when, when Kanye had went in, I, I, I think he bought all, he bought some different stocks for Kim and like different companies or something like that for Christmas. Do some shit like that. How about not even cheat so we ain't got to worry about this bullshit? How about that? I just want people to realize that when you cheat, just own your shit. Stop trying to put the fact that you cheated on everybody else but your goddamn self. You know, I remember one time I was watching Steve Harvey and um, I was flipping the TV and I don't even too much care for Steve Harvey but I was flipping through the TV and you know, it was a guy from um, Jagged Edge. Remember the guy from Jagged Well, it was like four of them. I think it was one of the twins. No, that's a lie. It was one of the other brothers. I don't know. It was one of the motherfuckers. He had beat his wife. And it was him, the wife, it was Steve Harvey, and like a therapist or someone. And the doctor was, ba the girl, the wife was basically saying that, you know, the night it happened. Basically, like all of her family, like her friends, her family basically cut her off because basically like, we not fucking with this nigga. Like, you can stay with the nigga, but we not fooling with that nigga. I said, right on, bitch. That's how I am too. Bitch. I'm getting off subject. So the doctor was basically, she was saying how like the night that he beat her up, beat her ass, that that just wasn't him. That wasn't him. And the doctor was basically like, no, that's, that's the problem. No, that was him. That wasn't anybody or nobody else walked in and beat you. The man that you love, your husband, your partner, he beat you. That wasn't anybody else. Because she was trying to make it seem as though, oh, that just wasn't him. That just, He just wasn't in his right mind. No, 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 no. He beat your ass. And that's what the doctor was trying to get her to understand. Like, that's all fine and dandy, y'all together. But at the end of the day, don't try to put the fact that he beat your ass on somebody else. Nobody walked in to your house and beat you. The man who you love, the man who was supposed to protect you, he beat you. You need protection from him. She ain't at that point. I added that point myself. So all I'm saying is, girl, young great wife. That ain't the devil. Your husband cheated on you, girl. Your husband. Your husband put his family on the line and he went out there and fucked another bitch. It's that simple. Don't be getting in front of no church house trying to make it seem as though, oh, you know, the devil did this, the devil did that. No, my husband messed up. I'm trying to forgive him. We are gonna try to work through it. I got two kids with this nigga. I ain't got no money. <laughs> And once I get these, and once I get with, and once I meet with these secret lawyers, and I figure out a way to get my shit, I'm out this hoe. You ain't gotta say all that, but you good. I'm trying to say, don't be lying. Don't be some lying to these church people, cause I see through those lies. That don't no, that one no motherfucking devil. You could even blame it on a motherfucking Hennessy if you want to, but don't blame it on the devil. And even then, bitch. You know what? I, I, I was just having a conversation the other day with my sister husband. I was just like, I'm so tired of people blaming everything on alcohol. Like, I get it. You know, if you get into a wreck, you can say, oh, I was drunk, blah. I, I, you know, you see what I'm saying? But for people to just be like, oh, I had too many drinks. That's why I cheated. No, but you cheated because you cheated. Bitch, I've been fucked up before. And half the shit y'all say y'all be doing, oh, man, the only reason why I grabbed her titty was because I was drunk. What? 
Man, the only reason why I grabbed her, the only reason why I grabbed her ass and she walked by was because I was on that Patron. You know how many, you know how many times I've been fucked up and I ain't never touched no nigga. Anyways, I'm getting off subject. So yeah, John Gray, you know, you trifling. That's fine. A lot of niggas trifling. You know, we all done did some trifling shit. I ain't did no trifling shit like that before, Jay. You know. My trifling ain't the same as y'all trifling. Some of y'all motherfuckers trifling for real. And I will say this much too, because I said this, other, I was watching my video, and I said that Jay Z just a trifling as R. Kelly. Jay Z not, I, 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 have to, I have to take that back. Jay Z ain't nowhere, <laughs> Jay Z ain't nowhere near trifling as R. Kelly. Now, did he say he was I and Beyonce when she was 16 years old? He definitely said that. But he ain't trifling like no motherfucking R. Kelly. Now, I will say that much. So, yeah. That's it. Bye, y'all.